Hey everybody, I'm Argolfumph. This is a video walkthrough for Bosch's Damnation. Kind of a creepy name for a video game. Yeah. I don't know if this is more or less creepy than Amber's Blood. Uh, that's another game in this series. Okay, so this is game number 10 in the Carol Reed series. A mystery series. Carol Reed is a British detective. She lives in Sweden and solves a bunch of mysteries. A Bosch, uh, you might know him here, or know me as Bosch. He's a famous painter. So in this game, Carol Reed will be finding one of his lost paintings. The game begins with a tutorial segment, which we're gonna skip. We're just gonna go straight to the start of the game. I enjoy the unexpected, the illustrious, and the exceptional. Sadly, the Swedish winter is everything but that. Not much snow, constant cold, a never-ending darkness. Darkness? However, I was soon about to embark upon an adventure that fulfilled my expectations and more. Yes, even in this darkness, something calls for me to find. And cities may all turn to ash, and stone walls fall to time. My love still lies there buried, and the... Uh, if you right-click, you access the main menu. Thank you for letting me know that game. Oh, 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 I missed something important. Uh, her phone. Carol's phone is right here. You want to pick up her phone. Awesome. Whoa! We just got a mystery. Hello. I work as a cleaner for the Stragernaut family. I'd like to talk to you about something that's been bothering me. Sincerely, George Pamper. Excellent, excellent. So the picture in the upper left means there is a new location on the map. Fantastic. Let's see, this is just a random closet. So I don't think there's anything fancy inside it. So let's leave and visit George the Cleaner. You'll probably think this is trivial, but it's been bothering me greatly for several weeks. Well, tell me about your problem, sir. I'm employed as a cleaner for the Shangrenaut family. They're one of the wealthiest families in the city. The Shangrenaut family? Never heard of them. Five weeks ago, they told me they were going on a skiing trip to Norway. They were going to stay for ten days. But they haven't returned yet. Whoa. Okay, so they were only supposed to be gone for 10 days. They've been gone for 40? Yeah, so they've been gone about four times as long as they were supposed to. Yes, but what can they do? It's not illegal to leave the country. But they owe me two paychecks now, uh -oh. and that's a lot of money for me. It's a lot of money for me too, buddy! Oh, I, I don't think I could handle losing two paychecks. So, who lives in this Shangrenaut family? There's Eric, the father, who owns all the assets, and his wife, Veronica. They have a 19-year-old daughter, Corin, and two much younger children. Oh, and Corin's boyfriend, Martin, also went on the trip with them. So something that's a, a little confusing about the game is they, they introduce all these members of the family. You only need to know about half of them. So Eric's the father, Karin's the daughter, and uh, her boyfriend Martin. Those are the three you need to know. Uh, we're never going to hear about the wife or the two younger children. So do you know what happened to them? No, but I can let you into their house where you may find some clues. Sounds good to me. Excellent! I'll get back to you later, George. So, the Shangranaut House. Shangranaut. Hmm. Interesting. I mean, that's that's not how we would spell Shangranaut in English. Oh, look at this awesome picture! I like it. Okay, so, exploring the house, 
Uh, we need to find some items. Oh, that door's locked. Uh, there are a couple of locked doors that we need to open. So we'll have puzzles. Just finding keys and stuff like that. I think this is just, this is just an empty room. I mean, obviously there's stuff in the room, but we, we don't. Ah, oh, another locked door. Another locked door. We, we don't need to go inside that room. Oh, here's a puzzle. I wish I could reach that upper shelf. The rest is only laundry. Unfortunately, Carol is too short. She can't, she can't reach that upper area. So she'll have to come back later once she finds a ladder. Okay, let's check out this room. Anything fancy here. I mean, these are all very fancy rooms, but I'm not seeing any items that I, I need to pick up. Hmm. Ah, what's this? What's this? Ah, ah, it's, it's a book. Okay. Well, it's, it's a very nice book. I like it a lot. Hmm. Now here we go. Ah, I found it. Okay, I found it. Yeah. Okay, it took me a while, but I finally found a key. Is it the key to this door? Wrong key. Wrong key. Not the right key. Uh, try again. Okay. So then... Uh, the door. Where's that other door? Oh no. Oh no. Hope I'm not lost forever. Yeah, here. Here's the other locked door. Right key. Okay, what do we have here? Hmm, anything fancy? Uh, looks like we've got some items we can pick up. We can pick up this, we're never gonna use it for anything. Ah, we can pick up this. We are going to use that for something. That's definitely going to be a puzzle. If you press the start button, you get to see little circles on all the items you can interact with. Pretty useful for letting you know, hey, there's nothing on this screen. Is there anything on this screen? Nah, there's nothing on this screen. Ah, well, it looks like the only thing we found that was uh, actually useful was the needle nose pliers. Alrighty. Let's go upstairs, if I can find the front door again. Here's the front door, right? So, the upstairs area. I believe we have a couple of bedrooms. You know, they have uh, three kids. It makes sense that they have bedrooms. Hmm. Ah, ah, I see a Disney princess hideaway. Perfect. What is this? A oh, mini flashlight. Oh, that's great. I've always wanted one, and I can have a camp out with Cinderella and Sleeping Beauty. Oh, that would be so awesome. Let's see, this must be the adult bedroom. Nothing there. Let's go across to a kitchen. Wow kitchen here in the upstairs area. Phone? The line is dead. Oh no! The line is dead. That's not good. There's a metal object in there. Ah, I'll use my needle nose pliers to get it. My hand is too big. Well, I'll use my needle nose pliers to get it then. Ah, there we go. Okay, so that must be the key for that other downstairs area. Right. And it looks like I might have explored everything there is uh, that's here upstairs. So let's go downstairs. Where was that door? Here. It's right here. Oh, it's too dark, but I've got my mini flashlight. Excellent. What do we have? A wallet? Ah, 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 that's a clue. Okay, uh, I seem to recall that's a clue for upstairs, though. Let's see if I can run around upstairs and find where that clue goes. I think it's here. It's right here. So, uh, the password. 
up right, uh, then right and left, then up down. Okay, so up right, right and left, up down, and then uh, left up. Great, so that was the password to this creepy attic, which has that thing for us. Hooray! And uh, anything else? Anything in this room here? Oh, that's definitely a puzzle. Yeah, that's a puzzle piece. And anything else? Anything else I'm missing? Nope. So then let's go downstairs. And then let's go downstairs again. So where was uh, that one room? Over here. No, 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 that's not it. That's not it. That's not it. That's, that's, that's the wrong place. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, dear. Here it is. Okay, great. Found it. Put the uh, stool over here to get this. And look, it's the puzzle which matches the symbols we found. Okay, so. Okay, blue. That turns it to the right color, right? Blue, red, and then green. Okay, so that turns it to the correct color. And then it looks like it's going to be bottom right to bottom left to up. That's what I think. One, two, three. And that gives us this secret letter. Oh, it's not a letter. It's a painting. Happy birthday, Martin. Maybe you can hang this in your new room. I really wish Daddy could give you a room at our place instead, though. Heaven knows we have enough space. Love, Karen. So she never gave him this present. She clearly did not. She clearly did not. And this is going to be the lead that we'll follow up on.